so for today's video i'm gonna be doing a back to school get ready with me where i show you guys outfit ideas hair and makeup i wanted to do like these three different types of videos but i only know one hairstyle so i thought i would just mash them together into one super get ready with me but yeah i start school in exactly a week which is really exciting great awesome can't wait um but yeah let me know when you guys start school so i can start planning my fall videos versus like back to school anyways today's video is also sponsored by american eagle they were kind enough to let me pick out a few things from their website so i'm going to be showing some pieces from them during my outfit ideas segment but yeah i'm super excited for today's video um i love american eagle i've literally worn their jeans since middle school and they're just so comfortable and so stretchy so let's go ahead and get started Okay, so for the first outfit, I'm wearing this super fluffy and cozy jacket. It's literally the softest thing I've ever felt, um, but it has a hood and it has some pockets. And I think this is really great for cold classrooms because some classrooms are seriously freezing. I also really like the color of this jacket. It's like a slightly off-white slash light pink color um, but it's just so comfortable and cozy and I also paired it with a pair of black next level jeans these are American Eagles latest jean fit they feel like leggings like they're just so comfortable to wear and I don't even like to wear jeans but American Eagle always kills it in their denim um, they just don't feel like typical rough like hard denim jeans like they're just so stretchy and comfortable um there's the high kick but yeah this is the first outfit just something super simple cute and cozy for school So this is the second outfit. Um, I think I was going for like a sexy farm girl type of vibe. But anyways, my top and my ribbon hair tie are both from American Eagle. The top has a really cute floral pattern and it's super, super soft because it's part of their soft and sexy collection. And I also really like the neckline and the little ruffles at the bottom. And the hair tie is just like a hair tie with ribbon on it, but it just looks really, really cute. And I also paired it with a pair of the blue next level jeans. These ones have four buttons going down the center, which I think just looks really cute and it adds a lot of detail. And these are actually flared cropped jeans, which you guys will see in a second but yeah i just think it looks really cute it's a little bit different from the typical skinny jeans i'm used to wearing and i think they look really flattering and i also paired it with a pair of black and white sneakers all right so this is the third outfit um i thought i would just bring it back to basics with this one so i'm wearing a super simple white fitted tee it's really flattering and just very basic i'm wearing a pair of gold hoops that are also from american eagle and my bottoms are also next level denim jeans the fit and comfort of their jeans are so flattering that it just makes you feel your most confident and they also have an incredibly inclusive size range ever since i've been shopping from them like in middle school um, i've always been able to find something there and they have like short regular and long inseams which is really nice but yeah um, I'm also gonna throw my hair into a low pony I'm using one of American Eagles bandana print scrunchies that I found it's just so cute and very chic so I thought I would just tie my hair into a low pony but yeah thank you so much to American Eagle one more time for sponsoring today's video now moving on for the makeup so first as always I'm just gonna use my metal hair clips to clip my hair back and I'm gonna go straight in for the brows I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz in medium brown as usual but I always I always like to do my brows first when I'm doing makeup for school just because if I have to like suddenly drive to school or something and I'm running out of time or I'm in a time crunch um, my brows are usually like the most important thing I need on my face so that's why I like to do them first but after my brows I'm going to start priming my skin for makeup so I'm using the Smashbox primer water For foundation, I like to go for something a little bit lighter for school, so I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm in the shade Medium 1, um, but I'm just going to take a pump of this onto my hand and then dot it onto my face. And today I'm going to use the Sigma F80 Airbrush to blend it out. Okay, so now that my base is even, I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's like one of my drugstore all-time favorites, but I'm just going to dot two dots on my under eyes and then use the Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush to blend it out. Um, I've been using brushes more than my beauty blender lately, which is weird, but I feel like it's a little bit faster um, when you're getting ready for school just because... You don't have to spend like two hours pouncing. So yeah, I'm going to set everything in with my Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. All 
All right, so moving on to the eyes, I'm just gonna do a super simple eyeshadow look today, but I'm taking this color by ColourPop. I forgot the name, but I'll list it in the description. And I'm just gonna put that over my entire lid and blend it into my crease. I really like this color because it's like a mauve taupe color, but it's not too boring or just like bronzy. Um, and then I'm also gonna take a tiny smudge brush and smudge that under my lash line. Next, I'm going to draw a wing using this dark brown eyeshadow, and I'm just going to start at the corner of my eye and drag it, extending my eye line. As usual, I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner Crayon just to tightline my upper lash line. So after I curl my lashes, I'm going to use Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara today. I'm going to apply two coats of this onto each eye, but this mascara is my current favorite. Um, I really, really like the formula and the brush, and I feel like it just makes your eyelashes look really, really good, and they can stay curled all day because of the curved wand, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that, and I do get a little bit of it on my eyelid, but I just wipe it off with um, some micellar water. Next, I'm just going to quickly bronze up my face using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm still obsessed with this. It still smells amazing. Um, but I just put a little bit under my cheekbones, um, under my jawline, and also along my temples. For blush today, I'm going to be using Max Melba. This is one of my favorite peachy blushes, and it's really great because you can pile this stuff on and it won't look too heavy. I tend to go really heavy-handed with blushes, so I like to use ones sometimes that I can be more messy with, but this has a really nice peachy sheen. For my lips, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Screenshot. This is one of their Ultra Satin Lips, and I really, really like it. It's also a super cute peachy color, um, so I just like to dab a little bit on my bottom lip and then use my finger to blend it out. I also forgot to do highlights, so I'm going to go back in with the Maybelline Master Chrome and just highlight the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Lastly, I'm just going to finish everything off with my Urban Decay All Nighter because I want my makeup to stay on all day and I open my mouth too soon in this clip and I get it in my mouth and it does not taste nice. But anyways, that's it for the makeup look. It's just something super cute and simple and fresh for school. Alright you guys, so moving on to hair first, I'm just going to use my heat protectant and spray this all over my hair and wait for it to dry. Um, but today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I do my loose curls. So first I like to part my hair into two sections. I have a top layer that I tie away and then I'm going to work on the bottom layer first. So I'm using a 2 inch curling iron by Chi because I lost my Hot Tools one but um, I recently repurchased it. So anyways, I'm just going to start curling it using the clamp and I'm going to curl it in like one inch sections and do it away from my face. And I like to move quickly so I don't hold the curling iron on my hair for too long. Um, I like to keep it moving just so that the heat evenly distributes and my hair doesn't get too curly if that makes sense. Like I want it to be pretty loose and like wavy. So I'm just going to repeat that on my entire head. It's honestly the most simple thing ever. It's like the b most basic way to curl your hair. Um, and I find that using the clamp is actually easier than using it without. Like I've never burned myself or anything. So uh, I just like to use the clamp. And then after I do the bottom layer, that's what it looks like. I literally only curl four sections. That's how little hair I have. Um, but this looks weird. So I'm just gonna tie off the bottom into a ponytail and then leave the top part down so I can start working on that. Thank you. 
but yeah i just repeat that process on my entire head and i basically hold every curl um for about two or three seconds just like very very short because i don't want my hair to cook completely um so this is what it looks like in the end it's super super light and like fluffy and i'm just gonna take my bumble and bumble invisible oil um and just add that to the ends of my hair and I like to also run it through and like scrunch it a bit just to add a little bit more texture and like mess up the curls a bit. Just because I want the waves to continue to fall out a little bit more so that it looks super natural and just a little bit wavy. All right guys, so that completes this video. I'm gonna link all the clothing items, makeup and hair stuff in the description so you guys can check it out as always. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you aren't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.